haluan tyrätä näitä sulupeleissä. Hasbin Allahin mä vakil. Haula wala kuata ila billahi la ali razim. Madad ya sahibu saif. This is the first Juma of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. We are, we are happy. We are thanking Allah for making us to experience this Juma of the Ramadan. Anyone has any questions? That you want to say? You want to ask? Ask. Because Ramadan, I don't feel like talking too much. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you right. should not talk too much. You should sit down. Talk, talk, talk. Nobody listens. Anyway. We ask very weird questions, we're asking. Yes. One question asking. Just asking. Uh, what's the question? Why are we supposed to be miserable when on the right side the pressure we seem to set up our life is supposed to bring us peace and happiness? Who's saying we're supposed to be miserable? Who is saying we're supposed to be miserable? And who is saying since the path to Allah is supposed to bring us peace and happiness? Who is saying all these things? If you are clear that this is coming from a saint or from a prophet, then we may speak from there. If you're just saying from the top of your head, uh, why are we supposed to be miserable when we're supposed to find peace and happiness? As if you cannot find peace and happiness and also not jumping up and down like a clown, not laughing 24 hours like an idiot. What is your understanding of miserable? What is your understanding of peace? And what is your understanding of happiness? In the first place, the one who is miserable, he is already separated from his Lord. The one who is miserable, he is separated from his Lord. The one who is miserable is not understanding the peace that is coming from his Lord, not understanding the blessings, not understanding his favors. You are feeling miserable. Then we ask you, why are you feeling miserable? So many people, 99.99%, they're miserable only because of their dunya. Because my eye is crooked like this, because my face is like this, because I don't have enough money, because I'm not married, because I married, because I married the wrong one, because so I'll go on and on and on, just dunya. They are not really feeling miserable because they are separated from Allah. They're not sitting down to say, why are you looking so sad? I'm very sad because today I got upset and I placed one more veil between me and my Allah. They're not saying because today I got very angry, I got very stubborn, I let my ego to fool me and now I'm upset. Are you miserable? I'm not miserable, I'm upset. So you're upset, so what are you supposed to do now? You stay like that to be upset? Who is teaching you that? That on the spiritual path you have to be miserable, you have to be so sour. Number one, we have to know that the prophets, they had the most quote-unquote miserable lives. All the prophets. Especially the Holy Prophet والسلام, compared to this world, what this world is offering, what the people of this world thinks is happiness. They had the most difficult lives, but they were not miserable. They never lost hope from Allah. Allah may test them so hard that the hudba is saying, then they will ask, Allah is testing them then. But they're not miserable. Because to, have, to be miserable it means to lose hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> be just looking at your own self, what they call navel gazing. You only look at your belly button, you feel so comfortable. You're not looking around, you're not understanding what, how much blessings that we are given. But the Holy Prophet والسلام, and the companions, they were testing. It was very hard. Yes, we were feeling very bad. But it was a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Quran Karim is saying, even the Prophet والسلام, and his companions are saying, when is the help of Allah going to come? 
Did they lose hope? No, they didn't. They're saying when. They didn't say, Allah is not going to send help. Because that is moving you away from faith. <coughs> Whose understanding is this that we have to be miserable all the time? In fact, in Tariqat, you look at our Shah, he's smiling and he's laughing. Not laughing, ha 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 all the time like an idiot. You're not supposed to laugh like that anyway. Holy Prophet said to us, I'm saying, if you know what I know, you're going to laugh little and you're going to cry a lot. And the Holy Prophet said to us, I'm saying, too much laughter, it deadens your heart. It makes your heart to be dead. Meaning you don't feel anymore. We spoke about this a couple of weeks ago. Because now you're so used to just laughing, you want to find everything funny. You see a kid falling down, ha ha ha, you're going to laugh. Correct? You're going to see someone being killed, ha ah, ha, you're going to find something funny in it because you're so used to it. Your heart is already dead. To be miserable too is to deaden your heart. Because what are you feeling miserable? What are you feeling upset about? Is it about how far you are from Allah? You're going to do something about it. Is it about how your ego and your shaitan is tricking you? Then you're going to do something about it. And when you do something about it, you're going to find peace. You're going to find happiness. Again, not the peace and happiness that people are thinking. They think peace and happiness, happiness, you have to jump up and down 24 hours. No. When you have peace and happiness, a very big sign when you have peace and when you have happiness is when you want to give peace to others and you want to give happiness because all the peace and happiness that comes to you, you never take it for yourself. So those ones who have their peace and have happiness, but they're not sharing, they're also miserable. They just don't know it. Because you're not sharing it. When you don't share, it becomes stale, it becomes rotten. Then you're trying to hold on to it. You say, no, I have to have this because this brings me peace and happiness. But your peace and happiness is very fragile, it's very delicate. It's only based on a couple of things. If somebody says a couple of nice words, you're going to be so peaceful. You're going to be so happy, especially women. They say, you look beautiful today. Did you lose weight? Oh, oh, flying. So peaceful they become, so happy. But if you tell them, what happened? You look old today. Oh, they're going to murder you. What happened to you? You put on some weight? Oh, they will kill you. So the peace and the happiness is just very, very fake? No. What brings us peace and happiness anyway? If you're on the spiritual path, you are there because it brings you peace and happiness, not because it brings you misery. We are serious. There are certain times you have to understand. There are certain times you have to cry. But you don't make anything for a show. You don't cry for a show. You don't make happy uh, um, movements or actions for a show either. Because like I said, if you are really sincere with your peace and your happiness, you don't show it. You share it. You share it. Even if it's with one smile, you share it. Mm. Even, Prophet Lai Satun saying, even with one date, you share it. So, I don't know which path, the other, that's why in Islam there is, it's always a middle way, you don't go to extremes. It is not in, uh, you're just going to hit yourself, saying, mia kulpa, mia kulpa. You hit yourself, oh, ya Ali, oh, ya Hassan, ya Hussein, you hit yourself. Why are you hitting yourself like that? Number one, it's forbidden. It doesn't make you happy. You think they're asking you for you to hit yourself? Hit on your ego. Don't hit yourself. Anyway, these are the kind of questions we get for the month of Ramadan. So in this month of Ramadan, we are not eating and we're not drinking. We're supposed to be miserable. Because according to the definition of the world, if you don't eat and you don't drink, you're miserable, correct? And others will say, don't Allah want you to be happy so you don't have to fast? 
It's better not to fast and to be happy with your Lord than to fast and to be miserable. Uh, they're twisting everything, locking everything up so that you don't understand properly. Anyway, this is the month of Ramadan. And like what the Hudbah is saying, there are so many things that's happening in the month of Ramadan. Our history. Muslims, if you're not looking at the history, you're not going to understand where you are. You, know, you will not understand where you're going to go. You will not understand the vision that you have to have for the future. Because Islam is not just something that happened in the past. It's not something that is just present. Just like this, continuing, it has a future. And Islam has a glorious future. It has a beautiful future. It has a huge... Because Allah and His Prophet, they never break their promises. So, they don't really want us to understand our history because they say, don't look to the future of Islam. But we're only looking to the future of Islam. Because the present situation now, it is so bad. But it is pointing every day more signs are opening up for the appearances of Mahdi salam. Every day we are seeing more signs showing that Dajjal is taking over everything. And how we are going to live today is going to determine how we are going to live tomorrow. May Allah protect us in this month and keep us strong inshallah. And to give us a little bit more energy to run around, to do good things in this month. This is the month of charity. So be charitable. Well, what we talked before too. Charity is not just giving your money. Charity is having a generous spirit. There are some people, you just like to be with them because they're generous. Spirit, they're very light, they're not heavy, they're not miserable to make you to become miserable. Be generous. Have a generous spirit. Don't fight. Don't say fighting words. Don't um, say things or do things that you know people will misunderstand. Although to you, your own intention, you're not intending for it to be misunderstood. But you know people are going to misunderstand it. Don't. Not necessary. They are watching us in this month. Every good deed that we are doing is multiplied, but every bad deed that we're doing, uh, they're saying it is also chances uh, it is going to be multiplied. And so keep ourselves clean, inshallah, Rahman. Wa min Allahu tafiq fatiha. Amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Any other questions? No question. This much is enough. Wa min Allahu tafiq fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.